card number five. Big ear two. Big ear two. Big ear two. He does have big ears. He's got a pretty big head too. Big ear two. Let's check out what the story on Big Year 2 is. The Green Gang. While rival warlords vied for power in the chaos following the 1911 fall of China's Manchu dynasty, the Nationalist Party of Kuomintang KMT joined forces with the communist led labor movement. After KMT leader Su Yat sen's death in 1925, Chiang Kai shek took over the party, and by 1927, the KMT army, bankrolled by Ch Chiang's close relatives, financier, financiers H. H. Kong and T. V. Sung, controlled most of northern China and was preparing to march into Shanghai. Communist labor leaders called a general strike to welcome KMK liberation from Shanghai's warlords. Not wanting to share power with the communists, Xiang turned to his old friend Tu Yong Xing, the head of a Shanghai secret society of triads called triad called the Green Gang controllers of the local heroin trade. Big Ear II recruited and armed thousands of gangsters who brutally suppressed the strike and murdered most of its leaders. The subsequent infiltration of Tu's thugs into the labor movement combined with financial and public relations aid from Sung's American connections, the Roosevelt and Henry Luce publisher of Time and Life magazine, magazines helped Chiang stay in power until World War II when the Japanese invaded and took over the drug traffic. After the war, the KMT and the Green Gang regained control, but in 1949, Mao Zedong's communists drove them out of China. The Green Gang tried to move into Hong Kong but failed. The KMT relocated to Taiwan, but sent a large KMT army con 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 contingent to Burma, where with CIA assistance, they expanded the local poppy growing industry. Xiang profited from Burma's heroin trade and enjoyed US government support until his death in 1975. long time warlord working for the cia with the cia staying in power with the aid of the cia 